Okay, as it turned out, we didn't have time uh, to do these estimates. So I'm leaving this as a task to do, okay? So this is homework. It's to estimate the diameter the, 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 the diameters of the largest one-third of your drops. So let me draw a picture here just to illustrate what I mean. If this is one of your rectangles and you've got a bunch of drops, and you've got your millimeters marked here, In other words, you got your tape measure, picture of the tape measure, marked off in millimeters and half millimeters. Uh, here are your millimeters. Now, let me add a few slightly bigger drops. This might be a little unrealistic, but uh, okay. Now, how many drops do we have? We've got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I think maybe there are 23 drops. Okay, so I'm not sure I didn't count some of them twice, but the largest third would be the largest eight. Since 23 over 8, over 3, rounds off to 8. 8 goes into 24, I'm uh, sorry, 3 goes into 24 8 times. So we're looking for the 8 largest drops. Well, I'm going to circle what I think are the 8 largest drops and then try to estimate. Clearly, uh, There's five, and probably six. These look just about the same, but this is bigger, so I'll just pick one of these, and we'll have to leave one of them off. Now, that looks just a little bigger to me. Of course, I didn't really complete my circle. Okay, so how big are these drops? Well, let's see. This drop is this big, and that looks like about two millimeters. This drop looks like about the same. Uh, and then all the others are clearly a little smaller. So I'm going to say, okay, we got two millimeters. Two millimeters. Okay. Then it drops off a little bit. The next biggest, you know, this is a little wider than it is high. If I take kind of an average of how wide it is this way and how wide it is this way, I get something like this, which looks like, I'm going to call that one and a half millimeters. Okay. And this one, bring it up here. I'm thinking that looks like about 1.4 millimeters. This one looks like about 1.3 millimeters. Uh, these two look pretty much the same. This one looks like probably 1.4. <coughs> Let's call this 1.3. <coughs> and this one's just a little smaller. I'm going to call that, well, let's just see how big I think that is. That looks like about 1.1 millimeter. <coughs> so, if that was my picture, then the largest one-third of the drops would be, listening from smallest to largest, 1.1, uh, okay, that takes care of this one, and then I've got a couple of 1.3s, there's one and there's one, and I don't see any more 1.3s, but I've got then a couple of 1.4s, got those, and then I've got a 1.5, so I got that, that's six of them, and then I got a couple of twos. 
We'll call that 2.0, although that last significant figure, uh, as a matter of fact, the, the whole tenth thing isn't totally accurate, but reasonable. Okay? So now I want to know, uh, okay, what's the largest and smallest? Well, the largest And the median, uh, there are eight of them. So the median is between the two 1.4s. So the median is 1.4. Okay. And while we're at it, okay, and, and what I want you to do, I want you to find the largest, the median, and the smallest of the top third. And let's also add. Q1, Q3, and a box plot. Okay, well, we know how to do that. Uh, we see what Q1 is, we see what Q3 is, we see what the smallest is, we see what the largest is, so we want to make a box plot. So this is uh, one part of your assignment, to do this. Um, third rectangle. And then for two more of your choice. That should give us a pretty good sampling of, of, of the rectangles. Um, And actually, I'm going to change that. I'm going to say for two more, uh, not of your choice. I'm not going to let you choose. Uh, the one with the least amount of water. and the one with the greatest. As you see it. So you're going to eyeball it, see which one you think has the least, which one you think has the greatest. Uh, and if you think the third has the greatest, well, do the one with the next greatest. I want you to do two more. I want you to do one with a lot of water, one with just a little water. And we'll see what people come up with. Okay, that's uh, part of your assignment. Now we'll go on with a little, well, okay, then I want you to uh, the total volume of the eight biggest. And we're going to find that in the eight biggest we got most of the volume. There's probably not a lot of volume in the rest of them, but you know, we'll take a look at that uh, maybe in another question and maybe on another uh, assignment. Okay?